Hi, it's Sabrina, founder of Binge Free, and welcome to the second training video in this free mini course, End Cravings and Binging Heal Your Relationship with Food. I designed this free series to help you start to get at the root cause of your eating struggles so that you can heal at the source and find real freedom from food and body obsession. In the first training video, I showed you how to identify the thoughts in your head that are triggering your binges and fueling the binge cycle. In this video, you're gonna learn how to track and sit with feelings and sensations that you might be struggling to feel in your body. This will help you to stop feeling at the mercy of your cravings. Starting as a teen, I spent years battling food cravings that just felt overpowering, like I could maybe resist them for a little while, but there was no way I was gonna get through the whole evening or the entire weekend or month without giving in and binging. The cravings just felt much bigger than me. It seemed very clear that my problem was food, and that started a decade-long attempt to fix what and how I was eating cutting out this or that, replacing this with that, eating only that, so many permutations of eating, which for the most part did little to change the tidal wave of cravings that would show up intermittently and just shatter all my attempts at being normal with food. I'd always end up massively overeating or binging or binging and purging. It was an endless cycle that went on for over a decade. We make the mistake of thinking our cravings are an obsession with food because we experience cravings as a movement towards something, the ice cream in the freezer we can't stop thinking about. We often don't look closely and deeply enough to realize cravings are also a movement away from something, away from feelings or sensations in our bodies that feel uncomfortable or painful. This is the core essence of cravings to binge. They're not really about food. A simple craving is relatively straightforward. You feel like eating a piece of toast. You have one or two and you're done. Cravings to binge aren't done after a serving or two because they're not about food. They're about managing or numbing our inner world. The food acts as a band-aid. There's an intelligence to the way we use food, even if the behaviors are destructive. They're helping us self-regulate our bodies and manage what we don't feel we can manage. Food helps us not feel what we don't want to feel. I remember a watershed moment in my own journey, sort of out of the maze of cravings and disordered eating. It was around 18 years ago. I was 22. I'd finally found a really good therapist. And I remember this one therapy session. And for once, it coincided with the brewing buildup of a binge. The cravings were on me, that awful feeling where you can feel the compulsion building. I was sitting on the sofa in my therapist's office describing the sensations in my body, which felt like ants crawling up my legs. And I was kind of bracing against feeling them, trying to push the feelings away. I was convinced there was something really wrong with me. Um, and my therapist looked at me and was like, Sabrina, that's just your chi energy moving. And I was like, what? No, this is not my bloody chi energy moving. This is definitely something else. Like these cravings and these feelings are not normal. But with a bit of encouragement and reassurance, I was able to relax a little and open into the unpleasant sensations. And the more I relaxed and allowed the sensations, the more at ease I felt and the more the cravings dissipated. I'd love to say I was magically healed that day. I wasn't. It took me a while to be willing and able to do that work consistently and on my own. But it was the beginning of me realizing that my cravings were intrinsically linked to my ability to tolerate and open into the physical sensations in my body. And the more it clicked that all these sensations, however unpleasant, were just different forms of energy, the easier it felt to get curious about them and allow them. The key to dissolving cravings lies in the ability to tolerate sensations in your body, which requires practice. It's like strengthening a muscle, except in this strength training, the strength is linked to your ability to open and relax. There's actually no doing or forcing or pushing involved, which is also what makes it hard to teach. How do you teach opening and allowing and not doing? 
Well, as it happens, I've created a downloadable um, PDF to help you get started. The work is about tuning into your body and answering the five questions. It only takes about five minutes and you can do it at any juncture in the day or when you're having cravings to binge.